Welcome to our online training on templates and layouts in Metastock. Today's training is designed to instruct in some of the basics of Metastock and the downloader program. We will provide some guidelines for using certain features within the software. However, nothing presented in this training is intended as or should be construed to be a recommendation to buy or sell any specific security. The information, software, and techniques presented today should only be used by investors who are aware of the risks inherent in trading. Equus shall have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of their software, any trading strategies, or any information provided in connection with the company. After this training video, you should know what a template is, how to create a template, how to create a multi-chart template, what a layout is, how to create a layout, and how to access a layout. We will begin by explaining what a template and layout are. A template is a file when applied to a symbol loads a predefined graphical display much like a blueprint. This display can include things like technical analysis tools such as indicators and expert advisors, background colors for your charts and price styles. There are templates already included in the Metastock software during install. However, custom templates can be created, and we will be covering that in today's training. A layout is a single file that, when opened, can bring up multiple charts at one time with a specific graphical display. When displayed on the screen, each member chart can be identified by the layout's name, which appears in each chart's title bar. A layout can even include minimized charts. When a layout is opened, each member chart is opened and positioned on the screen exactly as it appeared when the layout was saved, including the scaling and data date ranges. Even charts that were not visible or were minimized when the layout was saved will be opened. We will now walk through the steps of creating a custom template within Metastock. To create a template, we start by opening a chart. For this example, we will open a daily chart of IBM. So let's select File, Open. For training purposes, we'll use the Data on Demand feature, so let's click on Reuters Data Link. In the Symbol field, type in IBM. Now that we have an open chart, we will start applying different studies to the chart. First, let's add a couple of indicators. From the Indicator Quick List up at the top, Hit the drop-down menu and let's locate the MACD. Using the drop and drag, we're going to drag the MACD into the same window as the price and hit OK to the properties window. This will plot the MACD into the same window as the price. Next, let's plot the volume indicator. Using click and drag, we're going to drag the volume indicator and drop it onto the date scale at the bottom. Hit OK to the volume properties, which will plot the volume into its own window at the bottom. Now that we have applied a couple of custom indicators, let's go ahead and save this as a custom template. To do that, select File, Save As. From the Save As Type drop-down menu, select Template. For training purposes, we'll name this My Template and click on to save. Next, we will review how to create a multi-chart template. To create a multi-chart template, we start by opening up all the charts. Since we already have a chart of IBM open, Let's quickly make a copy of this chart by selecting Window, New Window. And so we can see both charts onto the screen. We're going to select Window again and Column. We now see two charts on our screen. For training purposes, we're going to go ahead and change the time frame of the right IBM chart to Monthly. Next, we need to create these charts 
as a layout, so Metastock will identify both of them. From the File menu, select New Layout. Select Add All, because we want Metastock to include both charts, and select OK. The final step is to name and save these two charts as a template. Again, from File, Save As, put the Save As type at the bottom to Template. For training purposes, we'll name this To My Template and select Save. Now that we have successfully created some templates, we will now apply those custom templates to other securities. There are two main ways of opening a security or group of security with a template. The easiest way is through the Open dialog box. Select File, Open. Next, select Options in the top right hand corner, then Open with Template. Make sure the option to use templates periodicity is checked. For training purposes, let's apply our multi-chart template. So highlight the To My Template from the list and select Open, which will return you to the Open dialog box. We're going to use the Data On Demand feature, so let's select the Reuters Data Link button. And in the Symbol field, let's open up a chart of Google. This will apply our multi-chart custom template and you will see that the chart on the right hand side is in the monthly time frame. Next, we will briefly review the second way of applying a template. This can be done from the open chart. You will right click on the background of the chart, select apply template. For this training example, we will use the my custom template from the first section of our training. Highlight the template and select Open. This will automatically apply the attributes of the My Template from the first portion of our training to the Google chart. We will now walk through the steps of creating a layout of securities. To create a layout of securities, we must have multiple charts open onto the screen. Since we already have our three charts open from the previous training example, Let's select Window and Tile so we can see all three of them on the screen at once. Now that we have our multiple charts open, let's go through and save these as a custom layout. Select File, New, Layout, hit Add All to include all three charts, and then select OK. Finally, we're going to save the layout and give it a name. Select File, Save As. The Save As type should automatically default to Layout. For the file name, we'll name this My Layout. And select Save. Next, we will quickly review how to access our custom layout. Select File, Open. From the Files of Type drop down menu, select Layout. Locate your layout and select Open. This should open up all three Google Charts with the various customizations. We have now explained what a template and layout are. We have also walked through creating a custom and multi-chart template, as well as opening and applying the custom template to a chart. Lastly, we have created a layout and explained how to open that layout. We wish you wonderful success with our outstanding software.